Yeah, so Ethereum, the way I think about it, and it's not a perfect analogy, is you know, if you think about Bitcoin as a store of value, as something akin to gold, um, Ethereum to me is something like oil, right? It's a it, it, va- very important asset, very um, uh, uh, critical. But what, what it's used for is to power the network. And the Ethereum network is designed to be a decentralized, uh, permissionless, unstoppable, uh, they call it a world computer, which means you know, anyone can deploy their applications, deploy their data, and run programs on top of, uh, we call these smart contracts, and run these on top of the Ethereum blockchain as long as you have Ethereum to pay for the, the gas. Right? The analogy, again, is everything that's built on top of Ethereum helps Ethereum uh, get value because more people need the Ethereum to power those applications. Um, and so when you look at the value of Ethereum, you have to look at the ecosystem. Is there a lot of developers developing cool new things on Ethereum? The answer is probably yes. Um, are there applications that people are using? And the answer probably is yes also, right? You look at uh, over the past six to 12 months, things like DeFi, decentralized finance, or things like NFTs most recently, a lot of these are built on top of Ethereum. The uh, use case of Ethereum as a network has certainly increased over the past 12 months. And that has driven a lot of the price increase of Ethereum as more and more developers and users need Ethereum to run their and power their smart contracts. I've been reading some counter arguments to holding Ethereum. So as you said, it's had a tremendous run, but some people think that first of all, it might be in a bubble because of how far it's run up already compared to some other coins. And second, uh, transaction fees are too high, gas fees are too high. You know, it's just an expensive coin to invest in. What, how, what, am I just spreading FUD right now or do I have, there, is, is there any validity to this claim, Jason? Um, so there, there is a little bit of validity to that. I think those are great counter arguments, but you know, Ethereum has been a victim of its own success. As more people use these decentralized applications, it drives up the demand for ETH and makes the running of these applications more expensive. That's the gas fee component. And so that has caused um, users to look at alternative smart contract platforms, uh, things like Avalanche, things like Stacks, other token layer one um, platforms that can also run applications like Ethereum, but are offering the, the much lower fees and, and much faster settlement. So um, th- this, is, this is perhaps a good counter argument. It remains to be seen how this will played out, but the Ethereum camp is not uh, just resting and, and, and um, waiting for the competitors to, to catch up, right? There are things like Ethereum 2.0 that are coming up and, and upgrades to the network that are coming down the road that may decrease sort of the gas fees and increase scalability for the Ethereum network.